uh, once again a, a very quick presentation about services that might be uh, of use for you. Uh, with regards to the two previous presentations, what we are not at your access is we are not a help desk. So we are more a way for you to get your right information or for you to uh, get uh, your information passed on uh, a wide variety of people. But what we are not definitely is a, a matchmaking uh, initiative. So uh, just in 10 minutes, I believe, that I have today, uh, first, what is your access? It's not a company. Uh, it's a European Commission initiative. Uh, so it's funded 100% by the European Commission. Uh, and we, well, the, the, the overall initiative uh, goal is to uh, support researchers and to help them uh, move up or career up uh, and to help their research projects or innovation projects uh, to be better projects through international cooperation and through international mobility meeting, moving between countries. Uh, so that's what overall uh, your access is about. Today is a bit of a, a, a specific uh, theme of what kind of services uh, that we offer uh, could be useful to innovators and to you. Uh, so there are, if you have looked uh, at, the, at, the, uh, at the website online, you can see that there are a lot of uh, different uh, 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 possibilities with this, uh, this uh, website. One of them is actually a, a, a job uh, uh, database or job portal. It's quite simple, uh, actually. Uh, it's quite simple, but, act but it is the, the, the biggest and the most important uh, job portal for research and innovation and engineering related uh, jobs uh, in Europe, free, of course, as well. Uh, here, what it says is, well, it varies, of course, but uh, when I looked at it the other day, it was 6,000, I don't know what it is this morning, but basically you can find more than 5,000 uh, offers uh, uh, daily available on the, on the website. Most of them are uh, in Europe, but also you find some uh, in other countries as well. Uh, a lot of organizations, a lot of companies have uh, profiles on this uh, database, and they can post offers. Uh, so this is also uh, uh, a, a possibility for you as well. And this, I'm not sure if it is accurate today, but there are uh, a lot of uh, uh, researchers looking for jobs, as you know. Maybe you've been one uh, at some point. Uh, and so this is also a very uh, interesting way to find talented people, mostly from Europe, of course. Uh, this is maybe of less uh, less of an interest uh, to, to you, but all uh, fields are covered. We're not only covering uh, science and technology, but see, uh, uh, sociology and, uh, well, I think the last one is uh, sociology. We don't have a field that starts with Z. Uh, but basically, yeah, but it's not, I don't think it is in, in the, the, the database. Uh, it will probably be in life science, I guess, I hope. Um, anyhow. Uh, everything is, is, is covered. So that's what I said uh, for, for individual researchers, if you're, or innovators, if you're looking to leave your startup, this is not what we are trying to make you do, but you can find a job uh, uh, through this portal. And the other way around, if you are looking at you know, hiring people, then this is also a, a way of uh, using this portal. I think, I, oh yes, this is a couple screenshots, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it has been renewed uh, a few months ago, so some of the functionalities are not uh, great yet, but still uh, it's much better than what it was before. Uh, and I think this is a search I did a few days ago, maybe or two days ago, I don't know, where, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, a job portal, so you can look for different uh, 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 possibilities and you have different filters and when I put the, uh, the filter SME startup uh, what did I found is I found almost 200 offers and uh, but you have of course more information but basically what what you can see right away is uh, uh, the navigation deadline you can see the country you can see the company you can see the uh, the uh, discipline or, or the area uh, so it can be like this, for example, product developer, which is already quite 
uh, 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 an applied uh, job, or it can be really research based, like a postdoc, like this. Uh, it can be it can be a PhD offered if you have uh, a, a partnership with the university, for example. It can be a lot of things. So, from both the side of those who are looking for a job and uh, for those who are looking to hire, it's, it's quite a, an interesting platform, I would say. So, this was one. The other one is even though we cannot do uh, what is I, uh, because we will see that later. Uh, I cannot do matchmaking, but we, we now have on the platform uh, kind of a, uh, a list of uh, members. We have community members who can, if they want, uh, disclose their profile. Uh, I know research experience, five years of research experience in uh, physics, for example. Uh, and then other members uh, can look for these people. Uh, and they can look also for uh, 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 institutions. It's basically what it says here. Uh, people who are registered as members of a uh, Euraxis community, we call them, uh, have access to this, this uh, 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 functionality uh, within the, the, the web portal to look for profiles of individuals or uh, institutions. So it's interesting to, again, find research or, or innovation collaborators and it's also interesting to find institutions that may be interested in what you are doing. Uh, again a couple screenshots, what do they have? Uh, yeah this is just a member search without any uh, criteria on I think uh, and this was just a few, yeah it, it was just the, 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 the landing screen. Uh, so right now or a few days ago at least there were uh, what 23, 24, almost 24,000 people. It's really the, the beginning. Uh, so it's uh, only starting now. And people hopefully will put more and more information, but already we have this kind of numbers. Uh, and uh, as I said, most of them are in Europe, but as you can see here, we have people in Brazil. We probably have people uh, all around the world in, uh, in Europe and in countries which are uh, covered by uh, Iraq. And it's one of them. Uh, yes. So the last one. How much time do I have? I don't know. Three minutes or something. Okay. Feel free. Uh, so this is uh, this is us in Japan, basically. So as I said in the beginning, Euraxis it is a European Commission initiative. So most of uh, the actions of Euraxis uh, are within what we call Europe, at least. Uh, but then. There are uh, a few offices, six actually, outside of Europe. One of them is in Japan, here. And what we are doing here is we are, of course, we are promoting uh, Europe. Uh, we are promoting uh, research and innovation with Europe. But what we are uh, trying to do mostly is to promote exchanges. So to promote exchanges of researchers themselves and to promote the exchange in research cooperation. Uh, a quick definition of what we call Europe is, at least for now, still, uh, 44 countries, so it's still EU 28 uh, and, uh, and, and associated countries that you find in light blue here. Um, so it's an interesting definition of Europe for some, for us it's quite natural now, uh, but still. So what we call Europe is a, a set of, of uh, 40 plus countries and, uh, and Japan. What we are trying is to uh, not to brain drain <coughs> either of these, but to, but to to promote exchanges between the two areas. And yes, so Euraxis Japan services for innovators. Uh, so again, we're not a company. We're not making any uh, profit out of anything that we are doing. And also, Euraxis Japan is only one person full time for uh, all of these, all fields, all career categories. And, and Japan and Europe. So we cannot do, as I said, matchmaking, for example, because it would mean that we could not do anything else in our work time. And I say we, it's I, basically. All right. Uh, so uh, we focus on three uh, action points. Uh, so the first one, we have, of course, a website, we have a newsletter, we have uh, 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 different sources of information, and in these we provide tailored kind of 
tailored information and reliable, this is more important, reliable information on uh, projects, uh, funding, um, scholarships, things that uh, are potentially uh, enabling people to do things between Japan and Europe. Uh, second point is we are organizing events like this one today, organized with my colleagues. Uh, we are organizing events that uh, give people information but also that help people network because this is specifically in Japan not that easy. Uh, maybe if you are in the innovation startup ecosystem it's better for you. People in academia, not that much, especially in Japan. It's difficult to meet new people, to have new ideas, to meet your next employer, or to uh, uh, find people with whom to collaborate. So this is what we do. And last but not least, um, we have what we call a community of now uh, more than 2,700 researchers and related professions uh, with whom we try to interact as much as possible. Uh, and, of course, everything that we do, again, is for free. We do not uh, 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 invoice anything for our services. Uh, about the first point, though, so information, we've seen uh, uh, Steinway, yeah, he's here, talking about uh, Horizon 2020 and uh, Lee as well. Uh, uh, we provide information on, on funding, on, okay, grants and, and fellowships that are available. So Horizon 2020 is a flagship uh, European Union program for research and innovation uh, is, is uh, one of the programs that we are promoting very much. But of course there are plenty more, uh, including those of the uh, individual countries that we are covering. I uh, cannot give you a precise number, but I know for sure that there are more than 300, even maybe more than 500 from the latest uh, 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 survey I had uh, 500 programs, or at least deadlines, to which people could apply for either funding, scholarship, something to do something between Europe and Japan per year. So statistically, there's more than one per day. So there's definitely something that may be of interest to you. And uh, research jobs, of course, we try to advertise research jobs uh, mostly in Europe when we get the information interesting. Uh, jobs, uh, policy developments as well in Japan or in Europe, new things that are important for people to know. Joint research projects or what we call co-funded projects, we try to advertise them, we try to advertise the course as well so you can get the information from us. And events such as this one or other events that we think are interesting for the researchers and innovators, we promote them so you can also get the information from us. Basically it's a one-stop shop for information. Uh, great, this is everything that I said once again with images. So this is just a, a, a snapshot from the website. Uh, yes, it was International uh, Women's Day this week, so we had a few pieces interviewing, for example, mobile uh, women uh, researchers, um, if you want to have a look at it. Um, yeah, this is the kind of information. So here you have uh, research jobs, for example, this is one of the example of a joint call result. This is the example of a, uh, a, a, a piece of news that's of interest for, uh, well, in this case, France and Japan. See, I picked the right one. Um, and events, oh yeah, okay. So if I have one more or two more minutes, maybe I can make some promotion. We have another science communication uh, contest. Uh, this time, maybe less for innovators, but for young researchers in general. Uh, people in startups are, of course, welcome. Uh, and it's called the Falling Walls uh, Lab. It's in Tokyo for the second time. Uh, it's uh, uh, made with uh, us in Japan and the uh, DV Hazo, German Research and Innovation Forum in Tokyo. And it's active already, so if you can, uh, if you're interested, you can you can take a look at the information and you can apply. It's quite interesting. It's a bit like today, a bit less focused on innovation, a bit more on research, but still it's uh, interesting. And it's in three minutes, so even more challenging maybe. Okay, that is it from me. Thank you very much. You have the uh, contact information here. You know me, you know my face, I am here. Uh, you can uh, talk to me uh, in, the, in the coffee breaks if you want. Uh, and I think we can move on to the next slot, right? <laughs>